Michael Chilton, the 17 double S running for O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year. As of right now, that'll be Brendan Smith. He's out of Dade City, Florida. Again, they've got until April the 1st to declare for that. There's the 19M. That is Spencer Hughes. Spencer Hughes, the JCM Motorsports car. He's out of Marina, Mississippi. In the Valvoline number four, that is Trip Gerald. Trip Gerald out of Versailles, Kentucky. In car number four. And coming at you in turn number four. Two times a winner here a year ago in the 32 out of Oakwood, Illinois. The smooth operator is Bobby Pierce in 32. So group number one, again, Shelby Miles in 76, Tyler Urban one, Trip Gerald in four, Michael Chilton in 97, Corey Hedgecock in the 23. Then it's Spencer Hughes in 19M, Bobby Pierce and Brandon Smith. There's Corey Hitchcock, good run in the Jackson 100 here. Last September, back with us out of Loudoun, Tennessee, the BMF chassis, Eagle Racing Engines 2-3, and we're ready to go. Brendan Smith, first time here out at 8 City, Florida. Putting his hopes in the O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year chase here in 2024. First race of the year here at Brownstown. And out of that group, the fastest car in that group in the 32 out of Oakwood, Illinois. Bobby Pierce in 32 at 13719. Then it's Tyler at 13863. Corey Hedgecock at 14069. And Spencer Hughes at 14245. As they make their way back to the pit area, group number two will be let out by the 2022 O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year. He's out of Dubuque, Iowa. That is Garrett Alberson. Behind him, the new driver in the Valvoline. Rocket number one out of Watertown, New York. That is T-Mac Tim McCready in car number one. And the driver that replaced Tim McCready in the Paler 93. Out of Lincoln in North Carolina, that is Carson Ferguson. The 99B out of Bear Lake, Pennsylvania. That is Boom Briggs, the 75. He is out of Wade, North Carolina. That is Daniel Adam, the four. The 2008 track champion at his first race in five years here tonight at Brownstown. He was with us at Florence last week. That is Cody Mahoney. Cody Mahoney out of Madison, Indiana in car number four. Behind him, former Knoxville. Late model nationals winner the 3S out of Chatham, Illinois. In the bottom, Lisa Colon Rocket. That is Brian Shirley. And he's a four-time track champion. 32 career wins here. He comes to us out of Columbus, Indiana. His grandfather, Don Fleetwood's car. That is Devin Gilpin in the 1G. Fastest in the group, 13-3-3-2. In the Paler Sports 93, he's the cousin of Chris Ferguson. That is Carson Ferguson, 13-3-3-2. Tim McCready second in the Rocket 1 at 13-3-7-1. Garrett Alberson at 13-4-7-8. And Boom Briggs at 13-5-1-7. Your next group on the track here at Brownstown. Will be led up by the 99, the Big River Steel Double Down Motorsports entry out of Dresden, Ohio. It'll be Devin Moran. The number six, he was solid in speed weeks. Out of Jupiter to Florida, his first time here at Brownstown. That is Clay Harris. Clay Harris in nine. Back in a late model, the 25W out of Peoria, Illinois. It's Alan Weiser. The 4G out of Washington, Illinois, the Pink Panther. That is Bob Gardner Jr., the 24. The defending Brownstown track champion out of Bedford, Indiana, Jared Bailey. The 43. 
First time ever with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series out of the state of Iowa. That is Derek Stewart and the 81J. That is Jack Riggs. And there's the number 12, the Ratliff entry. Out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana, that is racing Jason Jamison in 12. Group three. And that'll do it for Group 3 in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. 13-385 coming at you in the Double Down Motorsports 99. Looking for his first ever win at Brownstown. Out of Dresden, Ohio, it is Devin Moran in 99. Second in last year's Lucas Oil points. Looking for his first series win of the year. Group 4 coming up. It'll be led out by the B5. Two-time and reigning Indiana Icebreaker winner out of New Berlin, Illinois. It's Brandon Shepard in the B5. In the 11, he comes to us out of Verona, Kentucky. That is Josh Rice, the 49. Three-time series champion out of Blairsville, Georgia. John of the Davenport, the 111. Last year's O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year. Out of Centerville, PA, that is Max Blair. The 17 comes to us out of Heinemann, Pennsylvania. That is Drake Troutman. In the number seven, he's out of Georgetown, Delaware. The Stoke the Materials entry, that is Ross Robinson. In the number nine, out of Mooresville, North Carolina, that is Nick Hoffman. And in turn number two, Tiffany, if we can get a shot of that, driving Zach Blackwood's car tonight is the veteran driver out of Bloomington, Indiana. That'll be K-Rob, Kent Robinson. Kent Robinson in the Blackwood, 93 Longhorn tonight. We need group five and six, then we need the super stocks. Super stocks for your hot lap qualifying. Super stocks, hot lap and qualifying drivers. Well, we got the fastest lap so far turned here in Dirt Draft Hot Laps in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. In that Coltman Farms B5 at 13.180 out of New Berlin, Illinois, Brandon Shepard. Second quickest in that group, Jonathan Davenport. Third, Josh Rice. Up next will be group four, the 11. Out of North Vernon, Indiana, that'll be Tyler Collins. In the 157, the C.J. Rayburn Memorial winner here a year ago. Out of Winfield, Tennessee, the Winfield Warrior. It is Mike Marler in the eight last year's Lucas Oil MLR Rookie of the Year. Out of Aurora, Missouri, that is Dylan McCowan. Dylan McCowan at car eight, the 28 out of Carpentersville, Illinois. is Dennis Erb, Jr., the 25. He comes to us out of Lebanon, Missouri. That is Tony Jackson, Jr., the 97. It's a little sexy out of... Thompson, Georgia, that is Cody over to the 20 RT, the current points leader. Last year's Jackson 100 winner, it's Ricky Thornton Jr. out of Martinsville, Indiana in the S21. He comes to us out of Jackson, Ohio. That is Seth Daniels. Seth Daniels at S21, group five. We need the super stocks to the staging area, please. Super stocks to the lineup shoot, please. All super stocks to the lineup shoot.
Well, Joe Gotze turning the wrenches on that 25 for the Capital Race car, Shane Clanton. Joe Gotze, former late model modified track champion, and Tony Jackson Jr., the fastest in that group at 13287. 13-287 for the Lebanon, Missouri hot shoe. Five-time Mars champion, two-time Lucas Oil MLRA champion. They're in the white number 25. One more group. We need super stocks, please. Super stocks to the staging area. The final group led by the number 29J and his new Longhorn out of Bloomington, Indiana, the number Jordan Weaver. Behind him in the 68th, the Stricker Streak out of Batavia, Ohio. It's Adam Stricker, the 20, back in the Lucas Oil Tour this year to Newport, Tennessee. The Newport Nightmare, Jimmy Owens. In the 20, behind him would be the 32, former track champion out of Edinburgh, Indiana, Chad Stapleton. In the 96, out of Benton, Kentucky, in his own car, that is Tanner English. The 93, out of Hanover, PA, is Corey Lather. The 71, the defending Lucas Oil champion, defending World 100 winner to Martinsville, Indiana, Hudson O'Neill. And the 18D, the final winner of the East Bay Winter Nationals in February. Out of Fayetteville, North Carolina, the rattle of 18D, it's Big Perm, Dalton Wilson. Dalton Wilson at 18D, Hudson O'Neill in 71, the DNA Marine Longhorn Cornet for KNL Rumley. Second in the points, the defending series champion, former Jackson 100 winner here as well. Can we get a 12 9 with 13 ones, the quickest so far by Brandon Shepard? Let's well, O'Neill, they've got this deal together in the last week or so. And the Lucas Oil Series is off for about, is more than a month after this weekend. And we have the Georgetown, Hagerstown, out at Port Royal. Super Stocks coming up next, Dustin George on the call. Sixth and final hot lap group in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. All right, that'll do it for the sixth and final group. 13-3-3-1. He won the final East Bay Winter Nationals. How about it for the big perm Dalton Wilson in 18D. First career win in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. The 90th different driver to go to victory lane, Hudson O'Neill second to that group at 13-349. Jimmy Owens at 13-392 in his return to the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. By the way, not only Todd Steel Building's putting up money for hired charger, we have money. B&A seal cloak coating, $200 added to the hard charger tonight in the Indiana icebreaker. Dustin George coming up next. Super stocks, hot laps and qualifying, and then the pure stocks, and then we'll have all-star performance time trials for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Peter Hall Super Stocks making their way out onto the track here for their hot lap qualifying session led out onto the track by Columbus, Indiana's number eight, Colt Sullivan. Behind him, the 2022 Brownstown Speedway Peter Hall Super Stock track champion in the 79 out of Bedford, Indiana, that is Zach Sasser. The 89 out of Paragon, Indiana, that is Josh Linton in return number one. Just behind him out of Bedford, Indiana, and the number 12, it is Trey Chasteen. Trey Chasteen behind the wheel of the Tommy East owned number 12 machine. The Cooper Racing double zero out of Seymour, Indiana. That is Greg Amick. Greg in turns one and two. And just behind him in the pink and black number 22 out of Seymour, Indiana is Jenna Boatnik. Jenna Boatnik rounding out this group of six drivers. 12 Pewter Hall Super Stocks here tonight. They'll be in two heats. This will be the lineup for heat race number one. And again, this is hot lap qualifying for the Pewter Hall Super Stocks. So how they time in here for this session will be how they will line up. 
a little bit later on this evening for heat race number one pewter hall super stocks green flag is out And caution is out on the front straightaway. Jenna Boatnick having trouble outside of turn number four. Collected the number eight of Colton Sullivan. Just nowhere to go. As both of those cars come to a stop here outside of turn four on the front straightaway. Still have another lap here for most of these guys. So Brownstown track officials will tend to the number eight of Colton Sullivan, the 22 of Jenna Boatnik. And checking with scoring, it does look like everybody will have one lap left to time in here so far. The quickest in this group, but a 16-1-2-2, the Seymour Indiana driver, Greg Amick. And the second quickest with a 16-1-3-1, the 79 of Adam, excuse me, Zach Sasser. And you see all the damage there to the number eight of Colton Sullivan. Tough break here as he was timed in as the third fastest driver. And then you see the 22 of Jenna Botnick, a little bit of right side sheet metal damage on that pink and black number 22, Jenna Botnick. So again, everybody with one lap left here. Amick and Sasser are the two fastest so far. Trey Chastain in the 12 with a 16, 5, 7, 6 in fourth. As this flagman gives the signal to get him wound up, and we'll have green flag in here, green and white thrown to Josh Linton.
And checkered flag is out, starting on the pole of heat race number one for the Pewter Hall Super Stocks out of Bedford, Indiana. In the Davis Automotive DNA Trucking and Hauling, Texacon Cut Stone, number 79, the 2022 Pewter Hall Super Stock Track Champion. It's Zach Sasser. To his outside will be the Double Zero Cooper Racing ride of Greg Amick with a 16-1-2-2. Again, Colton Sullivan uh, timed in third quickest, but had to be towed off of the track. Trey Chastain in the 12, 16, 2, 3, 1. Josh Linton, 16, 5, 6, 1. And Jenna Boatnick rounds out group number one in the 22 with an 18, 1, 2, 5. Zach Sasser, fastest in group number one. Group number two will be led out by younger brother Isaiah Sasser in the 11 out of Bedford, Indiana. Behind him, another Bedford driver in the number 96, third generation driver. That is Grant Simpson behind the wheel of that number six. Number 96, Blake Hole in the white, number 23 here entering turn number one. Blake from Nebraska, Indiana, and on the front straightaway in the Brad Cummings zone, number 71. That driver is Tucker Chasteen out of Bedford. The number two of Tampico's Rick Gum entering turn number one and just behind him out of Seymour in the number 49 second generation driver. That is Jack Roberts. And 71 on the back straightaway during turns three and four. Now he will take the green for two laps of hot lap qualifying. Checker flag is out. Heat race number two for the Pewter Hall Super Stocks will line up like this on the pole with a 15 888. Driver out of Tampico in the Scott Sales. Travis Kern, Race Engines King, Excavation number two. That is Rick Gum. To his outside will be the number 23 out of Nebraska, Indiana, Blake Hole with a 16 132. Starting third with a 16 183. The 11 of Isaiah Sasser. And rounding out your top four will be Grant Simpson on the outside of row number two. Pure Stocks making their way onto the track. They will just hot lap. No qualifying for the Pure Stocks. They'll line up according to the draw. On the track there on your screen, you see the number 43. That is Mickey Hines. And he's joined by the 20M of Brett McMillan, the 77 of Vern Albertson, the 10 Junior of Davey Wagner, the 51E of Cody Ellison, Will McRoberts in the 55M, and A.J. Wilson in the 55, the 18 of Joe McLaughlin. Out there as well looks like eight cars, eight cars in this group. 25 pure stocks total, I do believe. They'll be in three heat races later on this evening. Top six will advance to the feature. One B main, top two. Checker flag is out for that first group. Again, uh, times you see there on the screen, fastest so far. With a 15, 17, 5, 1, 4, the 43 of Mickey Hines. As he met, you see him there making his way off of the track in turn number one. Again, pure stocks will line up according to the draw. So time does not necessarily matter here. They are not necessarily within their groups either. Can't go ahead and 
We'll let you know Mickey Hines, he will be in heat race number one, but he will start on the outside of the second row. Keaton Strevel in the 14S. There's the 77 of Tanner Short. The white and orange, number 77 on the back straightaway. The 70 of Josh Turner. The 34 DJ of Daniel Hub. The 33 H Hunter Perry. And the pole sitter for heat race number one in the 14S. That is Edinburgh's Keaton Strevel. There on the screen, the 2D of Dalton Ward, the O2D down the back straightaway around the 34 DJ of Daniel Hunt. Flag is out, some quick cars in this groove. Now fastest overall, the 33H of Hunter Perry with a 17.016. Josh Turner second with a 17.308. And again, you have pole sitter for heat race number one, Keaton Strebel in the 14S with a 17.368 compared to the 43 of Mickey Hines in group number one. And we're here in the three has a problem here on the back straightaway. I now see him sitting they're getting a push courtesy of the Brownstown Speedway track personnel. I believe that is the three of David Bloom. Don't have a lap for David Bloom. Yeah, we'll try to get a number here on this car. Exiting turn number four. I believe that is the 36C of Preston Carr with no number there in turns one and two. I do believe that's what it says on top of that car. Preston Carr, young man. Out of Underworth, Indiana, also here in this group. The seven of Brian Sims, the 51 of Christopher Allen, the 5E e, Eli McRoberts, the 15 of Ronnie Pardue, the 12 of Bradley Roundtree, the 5C of Corbin McRoberts, the one of DJ Dunn, and the 36B of Philip Boudreaux. Checker flag is out for our third and final group of pure stocks taking their hot lap sessions. Again, they will not line up according to time. They will line up according to the draw, but Hunter Perry, the fastest in the 33H with a 17.016. Your pole sitters of heat race number one, the 14S of Edinburgh's Keaton Strebel. Heat race number two, Scottsburg, Indiana's Tommy Fleener in the 70. And heat race number three will be led out onto the track by Hayden, Indiana's Tanner Shorts in the 77S. And that will do it for all of our super stocks and pure stocks. And it is time for our Lucas Oil time trials coming up next. We'll take a short break and be back here at Brownstown Speedway Indiana Icebreaker on MAV-TV on flow.
Welcome back to Brownstown Speedway. It's the 27th annual Indian Icebreaker, the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. 48 cars entered here tonight. We'll have Group A and B qualifying. Group A will make up heats one and two here tonight. Those will be eight laps apiece. Top four will advance. Group B will be heats three and four. Here tonight, ready to go to be Shelby Miles. He'll be a first, the 76 out of Bloomington, Indiana. Followed by the number one out of New Waverly, Texas. That'll be Tyler Herb. And the four out of Versailles, Kentucky. That is Trip Gerald. Trip Gerald in the Valvoline. Four G's, Britt Gorey. He is first time in Lucas Oil Series in that Rocket Durham. Shelby Miles, these are the Reed and Sons construction. Bloomington South Storage, race car lifts, extreme sports uh, performance, all-star performance, henchman racewear, Rocket Clements for Shelby Miles. And Tyler Herb, he is in the Sunoco. Race Hules, Roberts Beak, Putty First Class Septic, Bolt Material Lift, Anthony Speeds, the Santa Weld, Rocket Clements for best performance. Eric and Kelly Brock out of St. Mary's, Ohio. So Shelby Miles, track regular here. He won the season championship here last year. Shelby Miles, as we come to the green flag and then Rocket Clements. Car 76, and it is Turbo, Tyler Urban, car number one, currently standing 11th in the series points. And it is Trip Gerald to get his first time with the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Glad to see him back in a super late model out of for sales, Kentucky. First lap time for Shelby Miles. So the next three up next to get caught up on the times here to be Michael Chilton, the 97 out of Savisa, Kentucky. Behind him will be the 23. He comes to us out of Loudon, Tennessee. That is Corey Hedgecock. And the 19M out of Meridian, Mississippi. That is Spitzer Hughes. Michael Chilton in the Fox Shox in KC Transport. Caden Industrial Painting, SFP Performance Systems, Hills Truck Repair, Parkview Home Center, Bluegrass Raiders, CNC Ready Mix, Rocket Cornette, Hedgecock, and the Georgia Mountain Pool Company. Kaiser Manufacturing, Curran Construction, SFP Performance Systems, Service Transport, Inc. Vineyard Enterprise, Framing Masonry, Roofing, BMF Eagle, and Spencer Hughes on the Yellow Hammer Design and Construction, Collaborate Tech Lines, Professional Concrete, Cutting and Drilling, Boswell Oil, Neon Bubbles, Car Wash, Link Construction, Fox Shock, Steering Buddy, Rocket Durham for JCM Motorsports, Colton Miller. So Michael Chilton, his quick lap is going to be 13 315 one, three, three, one, five. Spencer Hughes of the 19M at 13-6-9. Now Hughes goes to 13-6-5-7. His lap two is quicker. And then Corey Hitchcock, his quick lap will be his first lap at 13 7 4 8, one, three, seven, four, eight. Up next should be the 32, a two-time winner here last year at Brownstown. He comes to us out of Oakwood, Illinois. That'll be Bobby Pierce. Bobby Pierce in 32, followed by the 17 double S out of Dade City, Florida, is Brendan Smith. And then the number one in the Rocket One out of, excuse me, the 99B, my bad. It'll be Boom Briggs. Boom Briggs of the 99B out of Bear Lake, Pennsylvania. He's in the Dave Warren Power Sports, XS Storage, Trans 58 Briggs Transport, Rocket Clements. Pierce, he's in the poker trucking, low voltage solutions, Messiah Valley Transportation, Rio Grande Waste Services, Collins Brothers Towing, Longhorn, Vic Hill, and then Brenda Smith of the Big Daddy's Cattle, Jim Pacino Trucking, One Crazy Plumbing, Rocket Durham, Pierce, 13356, Brenda Smith, 13640. Boone Briggs, 13913, his first lap, Pierce, he'll hold on lap one at 13356. And lap two for Brandon Smith will be quicker at 13.542. Here comes Boom in lap two. And Boom will go to 13.738. 13.738 for Boom Briggs. So right now, coming up next, it will be the Rocket One. Two-time Lucas Oil champion out of Watertown, New York. It'll be Tim McCready. McCready in 39, followed by the 75 out of Wade, North Carolina. Then is Daniel Adam. And then it'll be the 93 out of Lincoln at 93. That is... 
Uh, yeah, 93. His Carson Ferguson demonstrating the rocket one. He's on the Valvoline, Petrov Towing, Franklin Enterprises, Weber Kef Ranch's performance grading, Ace Metal Work Styles Machine, excuse me, Marine and Maintenance, Gunner Saudi Fox Shock Sudoku, WR1 Sim Chassis. Rocket Durham, Daniel Adam. He is in the Tickers Rich Solutions, Mobilization Funding, LLC Spiffies, Justin Langdon, Electrical Contractors, Restore Warehouse, RL Enterprises, Rocket Pro Power, McCready, 13369, Daniel Adam, 13747, Carson Ferguson on lap one is going to be 13700, lap two for McCready. His 13-369, his first lap is his best for McCready, 13-369. Lap number two for Daniel Adam is his quick lap at 13-619. And Carson Ferguson, his quick lap is lap two at 13-504 in the Hoopaw Grading Company LLC. Trans-Tel, Trans-Tech Incorporated, WB Racing Shocks, Mega Plumbing of the Carolinas, Jesse's Well Pump and Filtration, Longhorn Clements. Up next will be the 3S out of Chattam, Illinois. That'll be Brian Shirley. Ryan Shirley in the Thompson Express, Hooker Trucking, Fox Shocks, All Geyer, Performance Parts, J&J Ventures Gaming, KBC Graphics, Ricky Lemon Motorsports, Rocket Durham, followed by the 58 of the W Guy, what Garrett Upper said, he's in the Ken and Beth Roberts, Messiah Valley Transformation, Dunright TV, Fast Shafts, Bill Sports Shop, Bill Stein Shocks, Sonoka Race Fuels, Romer Machine and Welding, Lucas Oil, Capital Race Decals, Longhorn Clements, and Devin Gilpin, four-time track champion of the Columbus Indiana, the Don Fleetwood, Clarkson Logging, Insultec, South Central Wolfing, Wheelman by Dasco, Blondie's Pizza Rio, Rocket Clements. Shirley, 13-583, 13-583 for Brian Shirley. Garrett Alberson. Devin Gilpin, first lap, 13-867. Garrett Alberson, his quick lap will be lap number two at 13-418. And Gilpin, four-time track champion, along with Jim Curry and Steve Barnett. Lap two for Gilpin at 13-563. 13-563 for Devin Gilpin. Up next, his first race at Brownstown in five years, the 2008 track champion out of Madison, Indiana. It'll be Cody Mahoney. Cody Mahoney and the family of Northwood and Dodge Ford Jeep. Ram Chrysler, that is a rocket. And Fox Racing Shocks, P3 Graphics, Larry's Truck Service, number four, followed by the 4G out of Washington, Illinois. The Pink Panther, that is Bob Gardner. He's in the Fox Shocks, Dynamic Drive Line, Hooker Harness, VP Performance Bodies, Rocket Clements. And the number 12 out of Lawrenceburg, in together, that'll be Jason Jameson. He's in the James Ratliff, JRR Motors Sales, MGL Auto Sales, the Auto Outlet, Kelder Contracting, Grant Lee Farms, Longhorn Cornet for Jason Jameson in 12. Cody Mahoney, first lap at Brownstown in five years. Cody Mahoney, his quick lap, 13-9-1-5, 13-9-1-5. Bob Gardner's quick lap, 14-2-2-1. Jason Jamison, 13-7-6-3. All right, it'll be the defending track champion, the 24 out of Bedford, Indiana. That'll be Jared Bailey. Jared Bailey's on the JV Salvage. Jason Durham Motorsports, Looper Cafe out of Bologna. Black Belt Racing Supply, Dirt to Media, Mark Martin, and everybody pre works Longhorn Cornet. Followed by the 99 out of Dresden, Ohio, Devin Moran. He's in the Lazy Days RV, the RV Authority. Big River Steel, CMW Trucking, Dave Knight, the Q Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Red Oak Pub, Smoky Man Speedway, Longhorn. Clements of 81J out of Nolensville, Tennessee, is Jack Riggs. He's in the Riggs Drilling Solutions. Moses Motorsports, BB Mules, Goldman Farms, Longhorn. Clements. Devin Moran, first lap, 13-3-7-1 for Moran. Bailey, or yeah, Jared Bailey in 24 at 13-7-5-7. His quick lap will be lap number two. And in Jack Riggs, his quick lap will be lap one at 14-3-3-9. 1-4-3-3-9. So it's still quickest so far here in All-Star Performance Time Trials. 13-3-1-5 by Michael Chilton. 
Three more to go in Group A. This drive round an outstanding speed weeks in cut. Should bring up the 25W back in an open late model. He's out of Peoria, Illinois. That is Alan Weiser, the 43. He comes to us out of Ainsworth, Iowa. Derek Stewart, first time Lucas Oil Label Derek Series. He's in the Stewart & Sons Limited. Houston Ag Company, Arnold Motor Supply, Keltner & Company, Walling & Fabrication, Grace Motorsports Capital, Old Pro Racing Engine, Weiser. He's in the Longhorn. Mr. Towitz Record Service, DR Plastics Inc., Kelly Glass Incorporated, A&A Heating and uh, Air Conditioning and Heating, Carbony Services, Titan Industries, Dawson Fabrication, Rolling Garage Doors, number 25W. Weiser in 25W. Alan Weiser, good to see him back in a late model, modified standout. And the 43 of Derek Stewart. So car six, Clay Harris scheduled to go in that group, wrong tire on. So he will not qualify here tonight out of Jupiter, Florida. So uh, right now here is your top 10. 10th, Brian Shirley. In car 3S, ninth Brendan Smith, eighth Carson Ferguson, seventh Garrett Alberson, sixth Tyler Herb, fifth Devin Moran, fourth Tim McCready, third Bobby Pierce. How about Trip Gerald? First time the Lucas Oil Series out of Versailles, Kentucky, 13, 3, 4, 6. And Kentucky fans, how about it? 13, 3, 1, 5, first time. Well, we gotta go group B yet. Quickest in group A out of Salvisa, Kentucky. How about it for the wild child, Michael Chilton in 97. At 13, 3, 1, 5. Chilton, a good run here last year in the uh, C.J. Rayburn Memorial in the Jackson 100. How about Trip Gerald? He had been in a late model, I don't know, 10 years ago, went to micro sprint, sprint car, back in a super late model the last year. 13, 3, 4, 6. So in group heats one and two, it'll be Michael Chilton on the pole, Trip Gerald on the pole of heat two, Bobby Pierce outside row one, heat one, and Tim McCready, fourth fastest outside row number one in heat two. Group B will be heats three and four. They're coming up next. Up next, it'll be the O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year a year ago, the 111. He's out of Centerville, Pennsylvania. That'll be Max Blair. Max Blair, the 111, the number 11. He's out of Verona, Kentucky. That'll be Josh Rice. And then the 70 out of Heinemann, Pennsylvania. That is Drake Troutman in 70. Max Blair, he's in the center line. Motorsports, Brad Spochaz. Upstate Auto Group, Prix out of the sale. C&J, Derry Murphy's logging. Longhorn Club It's Josh Rice to the Rick Jones. Rice excavating and plumbing, Sinesis Construction, Extreme Sportswear, Chain Locker, Air Max Heating and Cooling Impact Race Gear, Three Funky Princes of the Rocket Big Hill, and Drake Troutman. He's in the RFI Resources, Wheeler Fleet Solutions, Bill Stein, Stone Natural Resources, Gary Side Griffing, and Window Certainty, Thunder Hill Racing, Longhorn, Jay Dickens. up on the scoring. So Blair, Rice, and Troutman, their laps in the books here in All-Star Performance Time Trials. Up next, he's a three-time Lucas Oil champion looking for his fourth championship out of Blairsville, Georgia. That is Jonathan Davenport. Jonathan Davenport in 49. By the way, Max Blair, 13-6-1-6, his quick lap. That's quickest so far. Drake Troutman, his quick lap, lap two, 13-7-4-1. Josh Rice, 14-0-8-4. Davenport, the Nutrient Next Solutions, Donna Gross Seed, Lucas Oil, Bill Stein, ASC Warranty, Mark Martin, Odie Mega Plumbing, Clear Lines, DT Fuels, Longhorn, and it'll be the B5, two time and defending in the Ice Break winner, New Berlin, Illinois, Brandon Shepard. He is on the Coltman Farm, Fuel Tree Outdoors, I Beam Siding Doors, UNOH, Pasilla Valley Transportation, Valvoline, Sudoku, Bill Stein, Longhorn, Cornette, Ross Robinson, the 7, Georgetown, Delaware. 
the cannon Beth Adams. That's the Stripling Apparel's Commonwealth Equipment. Boswell Oil, Fox Shocks, Rocket Clements, Davenport, 13817. Shepard, 13872. Ross Robinson, 14199. Davenport, fast time, Group B, 13591. Here comes B Shep. Brandon Shepard, he'll go to fast time in Group B at 13478. And Ross Robinson at 14159. Atlantic Prime Mortgage, First State Roof and Exterior Cleaning, ML Joseph, Sand and Gravel, Hard Scrabble Express, Sussex Carpentry, Wesley Collins Builders, Fast Shafts, The Frozen Farmers, Brandon Shepard right now, 14478. It's still Michael Chilton, quickest overall at 13315. Up next, in the number 93, he's out of Bloomington, Indiana. It's K Rob. This is Kent Robinson. Kent Robinson in the Blackwood Racing 93. That's the Longhorn Bullock, Jones Core, Yoder Farms, Street Corporation, Slicker Graphics, Bosky's Performance Parts, Kendall Trucks and Parts, DMB Embroidery, Blackwood Lawn and Landscaping, Vicks Liquors, USSA, Fast Pit Softball, Jason Smith Trucking, number 93, followed by the number nine, out of Morrisville, North Carolina, Nick Hoffman of the NOS Energy Drink, CNW Trucking, Petro Towing, Bill Stein, Tri Valley Equipment, All Guy Performance, Holland Haskell's Longhorn Club, and Dennis Surf Jr., the providing Mac, Lomac Truck Sales. Buck Shops, Idea Ready Mix, guys are manufacturing. Rock and Clements, 28. Left one, Robinson, 13.825. Left one, Dennis Serve Jr., 13647. Hoffman, second, 13.577. Lap number two for Robinson is first lap time will be the quickest at 13.825. Hoffman to hold on lap one, that's second in group B at 13.577. Dennis Serve Jr., hold on lap one, 13.647. Or the former Dirt Label on a Dream winner out of Carpentersville, Illinois. So through nine cars here in Group B, it's Brandon Shepard, Nick Hoffman, Jonathan Davenport, Max Blair, your top four. Up next will be the eight. Last year's Lucas Oil MLRA Rookie of the Year out of Urbana, Missouri. That is Dylan McCowan. Dylan McCowan in car number eight. He's on the Sonic. Pomeroy Services, Mount Hamilton Ford. Empire Energy, BLC Transportation, Heritage Tracks, Relief Construction, Longhorn, Scott Bailey. Final of the S21. Not out there, sort of go the 11 out of North Florida, then again, Tyler Collins. He's in the Super Eat Solutions family. Cutting his free service, Jason's construction, Lula Road, Debbie Collins, Tailfeather Fire Market, right out of Hartley's Tire, 4x4, Dynamic Customs, Capital Travis Kern, and the 25 out of Lebanon, Missouri's Tony Texan Jr. He is in the Superior Power Custom Homes, Bill Stein, Elite Trailers, David Construction, Norris Logging, Springfield Raceway, Merrill Bonning, Capital Scott Bailey. Lap number one. Dylan McCowan, 14-146. Tyler Collins, 14-315. Jackson, 9th, 14-015. Lap two for McCowan, he'll hold on lap one at 14-084. Collins hold on lap one at 14-319. And lap two for TJ Jr. And Tony Jackson Jr. go to 7th, 13 13-817 with former Brownstown modified and late model track champion Joe Gotze, crew chief in the 25. So that'll bring up the 20RT, the current Lucas Oil late but dirt series points leader, the reigning checks of the 100 winner. Out of Martinsville, Indiana, it'll be Ricky Thornton Jr. Ricky Thornton Jr., the 20RT. For the 97, he's out of Thompson, Georgia. That'll be Cody Overton. Cody Overton into Dave Stein, TriStar Promotions, 97. And the 157, the reigning C.J. Raybert Memorial winner out of Winfield, Tennessee. That'll be Mike Marler. Ricky Thornton Jr., he's in the Todd and Vicky Burns, SSI Motorsports. Big River Steel, Hooker Trucking. Dino 1A, Colton Fires, Westside Tractor Sales, Bill Stein, EMD Rep, Snowco, Longhorn, Clements, Cody Overton. He is in the Molly Pistons, Tristar Engine and Transmission, Boswell Oil, Speedway Motors, Rock and Mullins, Taylor Center, the crew chief on that car, then Myler, he's in the truck country, to see other transportation, Old Sex Bulls, Bill Stein, BP, Capital Signs, Petrov Towing, Burning Rock Products, Browns, Heavy Equipment, Cannon Model Savage, Longhorn, Clements, Sport and Lap number one. It's going to be 13869, 13869, Overton at 14113. Thornton lap number two. And his first lap will be quicker. That's 10th quick, 13869. And lap number two for the 97 to Cody Overton at hole on lap one at 14113. Mike Marler. And his first lap will be as quick as that's fifth here in group B at 13. Point six three nine one three six three nine for Marler won the last Lucas Oil race at Golden Isles last month. Well, the driver that won the last ever Lucas Oil East Bay Winter Nationals up next will be the 18D. It'll be the Big Perm. He's out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. That'll be Dalton Wilson. 
Dalton Wilson in the 18D. He will be followed by the number 20 in the drive for five. He's out of Newport, Tennessee. That'll be Jimmy Owens in the 93. Out of Hanover, PA, that'll be Corey Lawler. Dalton Wilson, the UGL Auto Sale, JRR Truck from the Ottawa Wetlet, Keltner Contract, and Earnhardt. Technologies, Brantley Firearms, Innovative Community Solutions, BL Construction, Newport Lighting, Worldwide Custom Car Haulers, Longhorn Clements, Jimmy Owens, the Reese Monument Company, the Ultimate Towing and Recovery, Tim Ford at the Group Capital Electric in Tennessee, Boone Test Well Service, Sunoco, Redline Oil, Goodrich Fluid Systems, Five Star Metal, Rocket Vic Hill, and Corey Lyle of the Ponchos Racing Squad, Rocket Pro Power. Dalton Wilson, second, 13-512. Jimmy Owens, eighth, 13-663. Corey Lawler, 14074. Dalton Wilson left two. It's going to be quicker, but it's still second to group B at 13503. Jimmy Owens a hold at eighth at 13663 on his first lap. And the Pennsylvania driver, Corey Lawler, at 14074. Hold on lap one. The driving Coffin's Auto Clinic, PPC Lubricants, Creekside Auto Sales, all about wraps 93. Up next will be the 29J. Comes to us out of Bloomington, Indiana. That'll be Jordan Weaver. Followed by the 32, former track champion of the Vindenberg, Indiana. That'll be Chad Stapleton. And in the 71, the Cana Rumley Longhorn. Out of Martin Salini, another defending Lucas Oil champion and defending World 100 winner Hudson O'Neill at 71. Jordan Weaver, he's from the Bumgarner's Auto and Truck repair, Brock Barnes. Lamont excavating and trucking, clicker graphics, b and Automart, perfection cleaning, Durabil performance, Shipley drywall, pipe, popper smoke shop, Longhorn Eagle, Chad Staple is in the Dimeg drive line, Pinsky shocks, advanced auto parts, c and core, Laura Bennett racing, 31 out of group, Longhorn, Jay Dickens, and Edson O'Neill again, the K&L Rumley, Longhorn Cornet sponsored by d and Marine. Jordan Weaver. That's another left one, 13886 for O'Neill. Jordan Weaver, first lap was 14.559. Stapleton, 14.229. His lap two will be as quick as for Stapleton, 14.229. Weaver to hold on his first lap at 14.559. And Hudson O'Neill is fold on his first lap, 13th in group 13886, 13.886, for Hudson O'Neill in 71. Up next will be two more to go. It'll be the 96. He comes to us out of Benton, Kentucky, in his own Rocket J. Dickens. That'll be Tanner English. Tanner English, the Supreme Enterprises, C Motors, Space Fuels, All Star Performance. Kentucky Shores Custom out of the victory, followed by the 60th, the Stricker Streak out of Batavia, Ohio, in the Jim Beam out of North Virginia, the unknown car. That'll be Adam Stricker. Adam Stricker, the Beam and Lumber, Stainless Craft LLC. Players' Choice Playing Cards, Stricker's Auto Parts, Affordable Todd's, Record Repair, BB Auto Care, Valvoline, Fox Shocks, Rocket Clements for Adam Stricker. The final two of the night. English, 20th, 14301. Stricker. Adam Stricker, ninth in Group B, 13668. Trying to improve. English in the family 096 car, lap number two. Tanner English to go to 16th at 14657. Adam Stricker remains ninth at 13668. Will be his quickest lap, lap number one. So that'll do it for Group B. He's three and four. And your top 10 in Group B. 10th will be the 7 of Drake Troutman. 9th will be the 16th of Adam Stricker. 8th will be Jimmy Owens. 7th, Dennis Herb Jr. 6th, Mike Marler. 5th, Max Blair. 4th, Jonathan Davenport. 3rd, Nick Hoffman. 2nd, Dalton Wilson. And your fastest in Group B at 13-478. Trying to win his third Indiana icebreaker in a row. The B5 out of New Berlin, Illinois. How about it for Brandon Shepard? So your fastest.